Alright, we're coming to do a thrift haul, a Walmart haul, a shop my storage type video. So let's just jump right in because I don't want it to be long. It's not going to be long because I really ain't got that much stuff. Um, but let me go ahead and say hello to my day ones, hello to my queen, hello to my bestie, hello to my new stubbies if I have gained any since the last video. Um, I threw some lashes on, I threw a brown, I wet my hair. I didn't put no earrings on, but we're going to roll with it. Let me pause this video so I can cut the big light on so we can just go with the flow. Okay, y'all, let's start with the uh, thrift store. I went to Goodwill the other, yesterday. I went to Goodwill yesterday because I was looking for the vinyl coat. And, again, it did not disappoint. I love my Goodwill. So, but she got that coat on, so I can't show it to you but i can tell you what it is it's one of those puffer jackets that's like a metallic um a metallic silver she cried behind it she got it on it was six dollars and 15 cents i think so she got the card on because she saw it and wanted to have it on but that's not here that <laughs> so um I also got two tiles, but one of the tiles I'm using to hold my dirty brushes, so I can't show you that. It's just a gray hand tile. Ain't nothing special about it. But I did get this tile, and I thought this tile was, like, really, really cute. I love the color of it. I'm going to use this as a, um, inspired bathroom look. I really do love the colors of this bathroom, so I'm going to do my bathroom around these colors because I absolutely think that these colors are amazing. They are beautiful together. So I got this towel and this is the brand of the towel. But then I got another one but it's gray. Um I guess I can show y'all but it's holding on. Here it is. It's just a gray. I'm a um, wash today and I'm gonna rewash this and put it up because I don't want to mess it up with my dirty brushes but I think you know it'll, it'll play with this but I'm most definitely going to um, do my bathroom around this coat. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who my sister was talking to but I got this towel I'm going to fold that sucker inside out because I don't want to mess it up. Next, um, Davina needed some PJs for Christmas Eve. We're doing um, PJs for Christmas Eve. And she needed her some PJs, baby. Because she didn't have no Christmas PJs. So, we went and got her, uh, here's the pants, a two-piece red Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer uh, pajama set. I don't even know the size. Or to make, um, yeah. Uh, so we got this for her. It was two o five a piece, but I'm like, why is it two o five per piece when it's a set? How about we just do two o five for the set? So we got the set for two o five, and I got all this stuff from Goodwill. This next thing is the vena. Then I got one item from for myself uh when i looking for a coat and end up getting this cute little jacket this little jacket is so so cute this is davina in her red rudolph the, well i ain't gonna say rudolph the red nose ranger but this is so um davina it is red with the gingham in the inside it's, i got it buttoned up it has gingham print in the inside it has the ruffle detail down like the poofa down at the bottom i think this is gonna be so cute on her it has the ladybug on it this is gonna be so cute on her this was three dollars and five cents at the goody wheel um let's go to i placed an order at amazon but i got some more of these little hats and i don't know what it is I got a black one, a red one, and a purple one. I don't know what it is, but we all know that these are trending. Yeah, so I got a... It say yellow, but it look mustard. So I got a mustard color one. And I got a... K 
camel color one. And those are you know, them cute little little cute little hats. But it don't look good with my short hair. But I got these from Amazon. Uh, yeah. I have some. and I'm going to look in my hat box up under the bed and see if they're in there. But I got a red one, a purple one, and a black one. And so now I have a camel. And it says yellow, but it looks mustard so we got those from Amazon Start it over there. Uh, let's go to Wally World so I got some concealers um, from L'Oreal Paris and this one is honey and they are full coverage and this one is cocoa I'm going to show you just how full coverage. Uh, I got a time. Let me show you just how full coverage this is. So we got this tattoo on this bullshit on my hand that this thumb I'm going to make in my business to get it covered up. So I'm, this is the um, Dofla applicator. This is honey that I'm using. And I'm just going to dab it. Ooh, I almost dropped it, so I just did a dab, and I'm just gonna dab that onto my skin. What tattoo? You can't even see it. You can't even see it. Can't even see what a tattoo was. That's just how full coverage this stuff is i got it to do my brows and to see if i can uh highlight can't even see it what tattoo that's just how full coverage it is now i don't wipe it off and there it is but yeah so i got both of those from the wiley world uh, this was the only dark color that they had in elf but there was another shade that I said I was going to try so I can use it as an eyebrow highlight. And this was the darkest one that I saw. This is the 16 hour camo ca um, concealer from Elf. You know what? I do a swatch. Um, and this is in Ebony. This is in Rich Ebony. And I wanted to do a uh, use this as a uh, contour. And it also has that doe foot applicator as well. So this is Elf Rich Ebony. And I think that's going to be a perfect contour for me. And let's do um, the other two. So this is L'Oreal um, Perry Infallible Full Wear Concealer in Coco. Coco Loco. That is Coco right there, which is going to be a cute highlight for me. And then this one is going to be Honey. And that's Honey right there. So, L, Rich Coco, um, L'Oreal, I'm sorry, Rich Ebony, L'Oreal Coco, L'Oreal Honey. I might get one more of, of these in a darker shade. So I'm going to get one more of the L'Oreal in a darker shade than the next one from here. And then I'm going to get another one uh, shade up from this. So those are the concealers that I got. Wipe this off so I can. As if I needed any more concealers. But I'm really trying to get into a foundation. Um, so I'll be going to MAC for that. So I got two more products from L'Oreal. These are the um, lip color. I can't even see it. But it's a new lip line. This is, we're going to look it up because baby, I can't see. I think this the, this one was Tease. Let's go and see. Why does it feel so bad? 
Oh, that one. Got the internet is slow as hell. I think I can't remember. One was there, and the other one was. Let's see. Let's look it up, y'all. I probably should have had these damn names already. But while I wait for that, okay. So this is 432. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Who grew up on this? I did. Come on. Y'all, this internet is slow as hell. I cannot re remember what this color is. Or, okay, well, we're just going to roll. Roll with it. I think this is there. Damn, internet is hell. I hate slow ass internet. I think that's just, I think everybody. I don't think I'm the only one, but this, I hate slow ass internet. Okay, so it looks brown in this tube, y'all, but this is a dark plum color. And the name of this one is Dare. So this is there and like I said it looks brown in the tube but this is a beautiful plum like a deep deep plum color it's so soft oh let me show you this is the doe foot applicator it is very thin perfect for you know application on your lips that's there it looked brown but it's a really like dark plum color it's gonna be perfect for the fall so this is there. And then I think this one is tease. And let me make sure. 448. I want to say this is tease. Well, they got a pretty brown one. I think this tease, y'all. 448. Yeah, this is T's. Mm -hmm. This one here is kind of watery. It ain't as thick as that purple one would. They smell really good. And that's T's right there. There and T's. And they got another one on here by the name of Stand. I will be going to get that when I get them uh, the concealers. Don't worry. They, it says that it is a lightweight matte colored ink. High pigmented. Um, I tried it on my arm last night. It did not dry down like a matte. So you probably have to set that with some um, translucent powder to, you know, Matt it down and make it say somewhat, but that's that's all that I got from the Wally World. Oh, one more thing I skipped. How could I skip? So let's go back to Goodwill. I forgot. I got some shoes. I got these wedge suede boots. They're a size eight medium. As long as it is an eight medium, I can wear them because I'm a my feet is narrow, so I can wear eight mediums. And I got these gray suede. French booties I ain't never been worn. What you see on there was me walking around Goodwill with them on with a hoodie and some yoga pants is what I was doing. Did. Didn't care. I can't. I don't know the brand because I can't see down in there. I don't know who made this shoe. But, um, let's see. Let's see who made this shoe. Uh, I can't see, but I thought this was really cute. These are gonna be really cute with some with a denim, all denim look. Uh, I'm going back to Goodwill soon. I plan on getting another pair of boots, but that was what I got from Goodwill. So that's all. 
from Goodwill. So now let's do shop my storage because I went to the storage yesterday and gave my boys some stuff out of there for their little apartment. And I still got more shit. So while I was there, I said, let me go ahead and get some stuff out. So in a previous video this year sometime, I showed you guys these denim chunky heel boots. And I got these from Goodwill too. They have never been worn. All boots at Goodwill is $7.99. So those were $7.99. These were $7.99. And they just have the inside zip in the inside. Um, I don't know the brand, but these were a size 9. And they fit me perfect. So I can do 8 medium, 8.5 medium, and then just straight to a 9. But I get 9 so my feet my toes can have wiggle room so I shot my storage <clears throat> for these I also shot my storage for this black hat because I needed it uh, yeah because Davina took my pink one so I had to go get this one so this one is uh, I probably thrifted this uh, who knows but it's just a black hat I also went and got my denim, my denim jacket. So, this is a denim jacket that I thrifted as well. And it's just, you know, the bleach um, jacket. And I added brooches to the jacket. That what that was. That fell, which was a brooch. So, I added brooches to this jacket, which... Every brooch on here is thrifted except for this one. This one was from Baby Girl. So, yeah, so I shot my stash for the denim jacket. And then these next ones are going to be clutches and unique bags. So, this everything that I'm going to show you is thrifted. That jacket was thrifted. All brooches were thrifted. This was thrifted. So I got this cute little light, uh, Utah license plate bag with the leather strap. It's navy blue. It has a Coke bottle for, you know, decor. And this is what it looks like. This is <laughs> fabulous. And this is only good for uh, your lipstick, your ID, your powder. Your sponge, lip liner, money. But that's all you're going to hold in this baby. She not big at all. I don't even think my phone will even fit in her. But um, I got her thrifted because I wanted to wear her. Because I have some navy blue booties that suede that will go good with this. I have a complete outfit that will go perfect for this with this. So I got this thrifted. And again, this came from my damn storage. This next um, clutch is olive green and look like gray. It's like a dark gray, but this leather feels so good. And as you can tell, it has indents in it. And I've been leaving it out to see if I can get them indents out from where it was laying on another clutch. Uh, this, like I said, this is thrifted. Whoever had this bag took really good care of her. One of those things that I have yet to wear her. This is the brand. I, like I said, brought her out so I could get juice out of my stuff before, you know, it goes bad and I have to give it away. So, I did that. Got that. I'm into oversized clutches, oversized, you know, bags. So, this is another one. This is suede and leather with a gold bar. And she was thrifted as well. This is how you open her, and she is huge. She is an ASOS bag. She is huge. And I love it. Never want her. We all know that burgundy is a, is a color, and here's the strap for this. Um, she is a shoulder bag, or a crossover bag if you want, but... If I wear her, she will, she's going to be worn as a clutch or a bag, or, you know, shoulder bag. She has an outside zipper there. The chain gives you, like, the inspired or re-glam chanel 
look and it has the strap so it won't hurt your, hurt your shoulder and then you flip her up she has a pocket here she has all kinds of pockets and then she has a top pocket here with Lord. she has a top pocket with a pocket in the inside with a zipper there then you have your little side pockets where I like to keep my phone and my lipstick stuff that I reach for often in there and then I put my money ID and zip it up in there or I will even put it here. She's amazing. She's she's gonna be beautiful. But she's all the way down now. But when I told her the strap can come off, you can you know detach it. Well, I do like I did just stick it in there. But I probably will, I'll take it off when I get ready to wear her. She's about the same size as this one. Yeah, they cousins. Also, I had to get her out because I need to wear her. She is a vintage beauty. She is everything, y'all. This baby is beautiful. Look at her. I have some, some turquoise heels that will go perfect with her. But she is a vintage, like, bucket style bag. She has the thin strap, which, you know, I will knot her up here. And told her like y'all can see that but this is what she looks like in the front and in the back and underneath whoever had her took really good care of her I haven't even used this she is gorgeous she has a pocket in there yeah and then she gives you that oh you don't move your finger she is gorgeous, but that's what she looks like. And then we have this bag, which is a camo bag with the red stripe. I fell in love with this. I have used her more than once last summer. Haven't used her uh, this this year at all, so I get some use out of her. But she'll be great with my red um, dress. And this and some gold heels or some black heels or something on the inside. Again, whoever had these bags really took care of her. Uh, it's like that. And then that's the brand of the bag. This is suede. A suede camel bag that you can tote like this if you want. You can tote it like this or you can fold it over and tote it like this. Depending on how much stuff I have in here. She probably will be toted like this. Because I will put my perfume in here. You know, my phone. Things to touch up my face with. And I will tell her like this. So, I'm going to leave her out. So, we can iron that fold out of her. And then my last bag is this bag. It's gray and black. I have my black um, shoe dazzle stripy heels that I always wear with this bag and my black fedora hat always I always have those shoes and that hat when I wear this bag so now I probably can switch it up it's a look it's a vibe now I got a second pair of shoes so when I wear these shoes I will tote this bag it's a look y'all and they thrifted don't tell me what you can't do on a dime $7.99 this probably was less than five dollars what look at that but yeah so this bag this is faux leather with the crocodile print this is a limited bag and it has the middle part which i care i i i i i, I can't get it out when i buy bags and it has this metal part in it. I won't even buy it. I don't care how cute it looks. But it has this metal part in it. Which I will keep my phone. I mean my ID and my, my money in here. And then everything else will go in there. But uh, yeah. But I got it because I love the way it looks. So yeah. That's all that I have for shop my storage. Um, I'm sure some stuff in, this, in my closet that I can show you guys. Which I will. Um, I will do, uh, I need to do, I, I need to do my luxury thrifted items that I have got over the years. 
But yeah, I want to show you guys this stuff. So until the next video, y'all.